Hi everyone, today's headlines. Drugs worth over rupees 508 crores seized in Manipur. Oting's killing. KU regrets Shah's statement in Parliament. Office of Major General Rank to head Army's Court of Inquiry into Nagaland firing incident. Farmers hinted calling off protests, final decision today. Pfizer shots give less immunity to Omicron than to other strains. Fire breaks out near maternity ward KU of Delhi Hospital. News in details. Drug worth over rupees 508 crores seized in Manipur. In the biggest ever drug haul in Northeast, the Assam Rifle and Manipur Police seized over 154 kg methamphetamine tablets and more than 54 kg heroin worth over rupees 508 crore and arrested one Myanmar national, officials said on Tuesday. Vikramjit Singh, superintendent of police, said that a joint operation sees heroin powder weighing 54.141 kg and methamphetamine tablets weighing 154.314 kg from a house at Sunrise Ground in Morat town late on Monday evening. The cost of the seized heroin powder is expected to be around Rs. 108 crore and that of the methamphetamine tablets around Rs. 400 crore in the international market, he told the media. Oting's killing. KU regrets Shah's statement in Parliament. Konyak Union and all its friendal organization expressed deep and cush and regretted the statement made by Union Home Minister Amit Shah in Parliament on Monday on the Oting incident. The union in a press release termed his statement about the incident as misleading, indigestible and false, pointing out that there were many evidence to prove what had actually transpired that fateful evening at Oting village, KU said Shah's remark in parliament were entirely in favor of the Indian military point of view. The union claimed that the innocent civilians who were returning to their village from Thiru Kol mine were directly ambushed without any questions asked, unlike the union minister claimed in the parliament that they were asked to stop. The union therefore strongly urged the sender and the ministry concerned to probe the incident properly with facts and evidence and not simply rely on some distorted and twisted information provided by some officials yearning for promotions and national awards. The union also urged the state government to take a serious note of the incident, deliver justice to the victims without further delay. Office of Major General rang to head Army's Court of Inquiry into Nagaland firing incident. The Indian Army has ordered a court of inquiry headed by an officer of Major General rank into the Nagaland firing incident in which 14 civilians were killed, official sources said on Tuesday. Four senior Army officers on Monday called the incident unfortunate and tragic, adding that the botch-up operation was likely a result of wrong intelligence. Sources said an officer of Major General rank would head the court of the inquiry to probe the operation of the 21 Para Special Forces that took place in the state Mon district on Saturday evening. The inquiry will focus on the intelligence and the circumstances on which Saturday's operation was based on, they noted. It is very unfortunate, it is apparently a fall-up of intelligence, that is what it appears to me, Lieutenant General Ashok Metna told the PTI. Farmers hint at calling off protests, final decision likely at 2 p.m. today. Protesting farmer bodies on Tuesday hinted that they may be close to concluding the year-long agitation against the three farm laws, while the Samyukta Kisan Morcha indicated that the protests will be withdrawn as the government has accepted most of the demand put forth by the protesting Kisan bodies. Paradia Kisan Union leader Ragesh Thiket warned that the agitation will not be called off until everything is resolved. The farmers are slated to hold a meeting at 2 p.m. on Wednesday to deliberate upon the government's response to the six-point demands put forth by the protesting farmers. Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine provides less immunity to Omicron than to other strains. Researchers in South Africa have found in an early study that Pfizer vaccine against the coronavirus disease actually provides less immunity to the Omicron variant than to other major version of the virus. In lab experiments conducted at the Africa Health Research Institute in Durban, it was observed that Omicron resulted in about 40-fold reduction in the levels of neutralizing antibodies produced by people who had received two doses of Pfizer BioNTech AC shot compared with the strain detected in China almost two years ago. Speaking at an online presentation of the first reported experiment gauging the efficacy of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine against Omicron, 
Siegel said there will be more breakthrough of the vaccine induced immunity as he pushed the idea of getting booster shots to protect oneself against the new variant. Fire breaks out near maternity ward ICU of Delhi Hospital. A fire broke out near the maternity ward ICU of Dr. Hedgework Arogya Sunstan Hospital here in Sahadra on Tuesday night, Delhi Fire Service officials said. No injury or casualty was reported, they said. The fire department said they received a call about a blaze at the hospital around 9.33 p.m. after which four fire tenders were rushed to the spot. The fire started from an MCB box at the gallery area near the ICU of the maternity ward on the second floor, a fire official said. That's all for now. To get this latest news, don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.